Babylon to go for Sunday, August 9th, 2021. Hebrews chapter 7, 1 to 14. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you for today. We say glory be to your holy name in Jesus' name. This Sunday, Father, meet us at the point of our needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For this Melchizedek, King of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by a by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of this nor end of life, but made like unto the Son of God, abided a priest continually. Now consider how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tent of the spoil. And verily, they that are of the sons of Levi, who receive the office of the priesthood, have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law, that is, of their brethren, though they come out of the loins of Abraham. But he whose descent is not counted, for them received tithes of Abraham, and blessed him that had the promises. And without all contradictions, the less is blessed of the better. And here, men that die receive tithes, but there he received them, of whom it is witnessed that he liveth. And as I may so say, Levi also, who received tithes, prayed, paid tithes in Abraham. For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? For the priest being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken pertained to another tribe, of which no man gave attendance at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses speak nothing concerning priesthood. May the Lord bless his words in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.